And hello friends, welcome back. Uh, the last video I did, I was showing you all um, pretty much what the new farm pass is about. So hopefully after my explanation, you have a, a better understanding of, of what that is all about. Um, in this video, there's quite a few things that we need to cover. Uh, the first thing that I need to do, let's go here and we will click on this and we will see what is waiting for us. So click on this one. It's just more decorations that have opened up with this new level that we moved to. And when we click on this one, we're able to get three more fields, which we will put down. We have to continue to put the fields down. One, two, and three. Okay. And then we have this thing here, which is called a ticket. Once we click on that, it's usually for it. It's usually an advertisement. It might show a thirty second. Um, it might show a thirty second video. Or it might not. Um, I guess once you get on the higher levels, the video goes away. But I think for the lower levels, it will show a video. I will not click on it now for the purpose of not wasting any time on on trying to show you all um, how to grow your your farm. Um, one thing f that we need not forget is that we do have this particular. Uh, mail, uh, the mailbox here, which has a newspaper in there. Uh, a lot of times people will use their last crop to produce something. And if you end up using your last crop, then you can always go in the newspaper because there's a good chance that someone is selling it and you just grab, flip back. Let's say if we want to purchase these six wheat, just click on this person. It will go to the farm. Uh, we can get 10, so we click on it, and we, sh well, someone has already bought it, so we can keep trying to find more, okay, to the back of their shop, here's 10 more, we can click on that, and we have it. So from there, if you want to take time to view their farm, you can, looks like they're just starting out as well. Once you go somewhere, there's always usually this little box here where you can click on it. It's always some type of item in there that's good, uh, like a reward. Um, you can usually just one of these a day, but they will appear all the time. You can open them by um, using diamonds if it's more than just the one a day. So I don't think we've used this yet, so let's click on it. And we have two nails. So they pop up all the time. If another one pops up somewhere else, then it will ask you to use diamonds to open it. I don't recommend that you use the diamonds to open it because they give you one for free every day. So let's go back to our farm. So we click on this home button and we go back to our farm. Okay, one thing I'm noticing is that we're we need a little bit more space. So let's go to my barn here, which is the inventory for your items. And let's see what we have. We have the TNT dynamite we have saws uh, i don't see any axes so we have no axes but it's okay so let us clear out some of these things so let's see what we can use okay well let's find a good spot so we can be able to place some items down uh let's start over here we've been going this way towards the towards our little river so let's 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 come this way so we'll click on this tree here and let's chop it down. Just drag it over it and it cuts it. And then let's get this guy right next to him. Okay. So that gives us a, a little bit more space there. Once we get an ax, we can, we'll be able to chop this down. Then we'll have a little bit more room to maneuver um, a little bit. Over here we have a lot of these rocks. So we'll just click on one and we can use the TNT, like I told you before, the TNT on the bigger ones that are in the cluster of three. The dynamites are in the, uh, the ones that are singled by themselves. So let's go here and just hold the dynamite and drag it and it pops it. Like I said, your animals go crazy, but that's okay. So let's just get rid of all the dynamite. So that clears that one and then we will clear that one. And that one. Now let's use them to get rid of the TNT. That one. That one. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, you can even move these back here. Even though you haven't gotten to cutting down these trees yet, we can still just 
get them out the way. A lot of people hold on to them. A lot of people use them. I, I typically try to use them because they take up the store your storage in your barn. So that you can't pick up or have any of these extra items once your barn storage is full. So as I showed you in an earlier video, to, to increase your barn storage, you need to hit this button and it shows you what you need. So we could increase from 50 to 75 if we have one of each one of these, which we do not. And it's the same with your silo. Once we click on the silo, remember the silo is only for your crops. So once we click on the silo, we have 43 out of 50. And it's pretty full. So we definitely will need more crops. So let's see if we can increase. And we can because we have more than enough. So these green check marks mean everything is good to go. And we can upgrade the silo to the next level of 75. So we will do that. So let's click here and your silo gets a little dusty and you click on it again and as you see now we have capacity for 75 and it took one of each one from here these here items the nails this is your screws and this is your wood panels these count towards the overall count in your barn towards the barn storage see there's your screws wood panel so you definitely want to use these items to upgrade when you can because they will take up so much of your space in your barn. And that's a lesson that a lot of people learn uh, the hard way, I guess. Um, so that's it. And the farm is going good. Uh, what we have to look forward to here in the next level, we have your dairy machine will start to be able to be produce cheese. This item and this item are both for decoration. We will have the introduction, uh, well, we will get one new ax. You get diamonds, we will be able to have another feed mill, so we will have two of those. And then we will be able to get another chicken coop so that we can get six more chickens. So we have six here now, we'll be able to get six more. We can always, if we have enough money, because we only have one pig, remember we come here and we go here for the animals. We always we have room for four more pigs, but they're at 500 coins a piece, and we have 929. We could drag, we could, yeah, we'll get one more for now, and two should be okay, and then we'll feed it so that it can start producing bacon because it takes four hours. We could, uh, we're gonna pl plant some crops, and then we're gonna get our feed mill going again because we want to make sure that we keep our animals fed. So this is what's going on now. Nothing really much to do until some of these things start to open up. We still just want to continue to send trucks if possible. If it's something up here that you like this one here takes three of these uh, milk, but we need the milk to produce things here. We have butter and we have cream. So what you could do is just delete this task because a new one, once you click on this, it shows you when the next one comes. The next one will come up, it was seven minutes. So it's just a way that you don't have to send truck orders. You don't have to send every truck order, but we want to continue to kind of grow our XP, which will continue to grow our farm. And so... Um, that's it for now. Thank you and uh, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.